All right, folks. If you look at the big sections of orange mixed with gray, big square chunk bark, it can't be anything else besides our good friend, Mr. Slash Pine, also known to the science world as Pinus elliot. Slash, from my understanding, means a low-lying swampy area that is full of shrubby type trees, brush, and under debris. A lot of folks think slash pine comes from the um, slash and cat face method that they use to get naval stores and gum, which this tree is made famous for. This and the longleaf pine are the two trees that were used for naval stores here in South Georgia. Um, slash pine, very easy to distinguish it from other trees. If you look, since it starts with an S, we're going to say it's going to be one of those trees that have two needles, but mostly threes. So let's see, I'm going to pull one off right here. Let's see what we have. Okay, this one is three needles per fascicle. So let's pull off another one. Okay, that one has two needles per fascicle. Okay, so I'm going to pull off another one of these threes or twos right here. And we're going to compare it, the two to each other. All, right, all these occur off of the same tree. There are the two. And there's the three. That's one distinguishing characteristic of a slash pine. And I, I believe the lead, needle length is supposed to be about 8 to 12 inches in length. And these are about 8 and a half. So I do have a limb right here of a longleaf pine. We'll go ahead and compare the two. If you can look at them. You can definitely tell the difference between that longleaf pine and the slash pine. I got my hand on the longleaf, and you can see how much longer it actually is. It's, it's noticeably longer. I believe this is probably, if that's 8 inches, it's going to be probably about a good 4 inches longer than that slash pine. It's also noticeably heavier and thicker than the slash pine, Pinus elliot. I'm going to bring up two branches so we can compare them and see them side by side. There is going to be our, our slash pine. And right there is going to be our longleaf pine. Notice the big silvery bud. Okay. Another determining characteristic that we have here on the slash pine is going to be the big very brown cone that you have okay looks like somebody's actually taken some shellac and painted this cone remember lonely pine has a bigger cone and it's kind of a darker brown or kind of a gray and this does not have a real good prickle on it. Also, if you notice, it does have a peg right here. And if we pull it off, you notice it will stop and leave a few of these scales left on the peg that stays on the tree. One thing about this time of the year you will notice is when this tree buds out, the main bud that it has, it will it will form a bud here in the center, but right beside of it, you're going to have one on the left and one on the right. And about Easter time every year, that's when these trees really bud and they really start to show out. And you use a little bit of imagination to me. It looks like there's a bunch of crosses just sitting right up there in the top of the tree. So 
that top bud's usually not that long. And, that, and those are all about the same size, so it looks like little bitty crosses all over the tree. That's the best way to also identify standing slash pine. It's going to be in the spring of the year, you can see all these crosses. But a real good way is to actually be able to look at the bark of the tree. One of the best trees in a pine plantation to plant in South Georgia. Relatively fast growing, performs very well on well drained, sandy, and slightly moist flatwood soils. Excellent form for poles. Excellent growth for lumber. It's very strong, coarse, tight, hard grain. Grows slower than the loblolly pine, but it is more rock resistant and it does have more tensile strength than a loblolly pine. This is our friend of Georgia, Mr. Slash Pine.